hi my name is keys and welcome back to my channel all right so today um i'll be drawing joker again so last year i drew him as you can see on the screen and i'm doing something different this time i wanted to try out something new and also i just watched a movie like last night i never saw the movie i just really really like his redesign for the 2019 movie i thought everything looked amazing the colors everything was beautiful so i wanted to put emphasis on those colors when i drew him last year but this year there's no color and at first i did a sketch i know i want to focus on reflection um i don't know why i drew this before i saw the movie so i just want to capture a certain tone so that's because it's this is for inktober well digital inktober inktober is supposed to focus on like artists using their inking items or ink so that they can produce art with it and instead of focusing on color and lines you're just focusing on improving yourself when it comes to lines and since i can't really record high quality video of me drawing traditionally i thought i would do it digitally all right so i know the videos are out of sync that's because um, the tablet recording does not get interrupted but because I'm doing all these things like inserting pictures or um, doing different things on my tablet and that's being recorded also everything is kind of out of sync they'll sync later but not now <laughs> okay so um, <clears throat> I found most of my reference pictures on Pinterest and I just um I'm, I'm using the reference picture of the lady looking in the mirror because that's the only thing i could find out really just gives me what i want i thought it would it was a, it was an amazing reference picture and i thought it would be good and i know he's a guy but it doesn't really matter the reference picture i'm not like there to copy it i'm just there to be inspired by it and um i thought the lipstick was a good idea because i know he uses paint in the movie and i didn't know this before because i didn't see the movie but i thought the lipstick would be a good idea because it's red just like his lips although i know he uses paint so yeah um when i was watching the movie the one thing that really stood out to me when i first started the movie was how nice his hair was the actor who plays him um joaquin phoenix he has some amazing hair and i was like wow that is some moisturized hair and um the movie was amazing um it was it was so sad to me like the way he was treated it was just it really made me really sad and i was like oh my god i need to see how this ends it was amazing i loved the atmosphere like the way they made um, New York look it looks so trashy and I was like wow this looks amazing like just the movie was amazing I don't know why I'm watching it like a year later but yeah it was really good um, <clears throat> and just everything about it just sometimes I didn't know what was going on um, the way Arthur was acting it kind of caught me off guard sometimes but aside from that I just I love the movie um, I felt really bad for him because this wasn't his fault he's just like a product of his upbringing like his job his mom everything just didn't work out for him um, and my favorite scene of the movie was when he goes on the Murray show and he shoots the guy and I'm like wow that's crazy the acting for that part was my favorite like everything you knew something was gonna happen but I'm like oh my god what is he gonna happen I know he was gonna shoot the guy but wow it was just like the way he was talking on TV everything he said was just amazing like it was I love the movie um all right so let me talk about the drawing now okay so this drawing i want to expand myself i want to try out new things um i want to add textures because i knew the drawing was going to be just black and white and just lines so i want to add some interesting stuff so i added a texture for his face so that it could look like the paint is kind of um washing and chipping off of his face um, I want to add textures for his 
the markings on the white paint, the clown, the clown makeup. And I want to add textures for his shirt and his suit because I saw that his suit kind of looks like it's made out of felt and I thought that would be a good texture to add. And just that um, I'm not adding so much black so the drawing by itself would look very plain without the textures and I thought they were like a really good touch. And I wanted to use my lines and my cross hatching as my shadows and light. Hello everyone, my name is Keys and you're probably watching this clip because you're watching my art video. Now, this <laughs> clip is here because I had another clip inserted but while editing everything got messed up so I had to fill it up with something so this is what I'm filling it up with. Um, I'm just trying out new things with these videos and I'm just really excited to do all this. I, I don't know what else to say. This is very, um, I don't know. This fancy thing I'm wearing is my disguise. I hope y'all like it. Um, and the video was made with me recording my tablet. And I thought it was a way to get more interactive with my content, so that's why I did it. And I started college, so I'm in my dorm room, and my roommate never showed up, so the room is all to myself, so I can do weird things like this. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I just wanted to draw some Halloween theme things for Inktober. And I can't really record myself right now because I don't really know how to use my camera very well. So this is the best I can do. So that's why I'm recording my tablet. And then soon I'll be able to, <laughs> I'll be able to do traditional videos. Um, I hope you guys like this. And I hope I don't look too creepy. <laughs> but um, I'll be back soon with another video. I don't know which one I want to publish first, but whatever um subscribe all right so yeah i want to use my lines as my shadows in life and i wanted my line to be very fine this drawing took about um i believe eight or nine hours and i wanted to record it fast because i was recording while being recorded so i had to get it done quickly and also because i have to post it but yeah um, I started to increase the size of the lines as I got to his hair because I was like, oh my god, this is taking forever. But his face, I want to really capture, um, not really emotion, but I want to make his face look multi-dimensional. So I didn't want his face to look flat. So his suit, the lines on his suit are much thicker than the lines on his face or the lines on his hair because I wanted to um, emphasize how much thicker his suit is. Like when you look at his suit and his vest, they seem, it's, it looks like they have the same kind of texture, like they're, they're made out of the same material and I want to show that through the lines and also bigger lines means that I can finish this faster. This recording took about, um, I think three or four days, maybe three days I think, because I have classes and I have to um, record at certain times. Also when my sweet mates um, are not here or during the, during the night when they're sleeping so that it can be like, not quiet, but so I can be able to focus on the drawing. But yeah, aside from that, this was something new for me. So it was very experimental, but I really like how it came out. And I am going to be doing some different uh, art videos over the next, over the month of October. I've already planned all the videos I want to do for this month and they're going to take a while, but I'm very excited because this is just exciting. Um, <laughs> anyways, I had, oh, that's something I want to mention. I had a lot of issue with his 
not his reflection because the one I finished first is his reflection. The one I'm drawing now, his actual face. I had a lot of issues with that. It looked absolutely horrific. But when I was Googling for different textures, I found somewhere where um, I Googled like 3D models of Joker and I found different 3D models of him and one was the perfect angle that I needed. So that's why this face was salvage. Because at first, if you see in the sketch, um, it looked horrific. He didn't have a nose, he didn't have anything. And I'm so glad for that 3D model. I think it's um, on Turbo Squid, and it really helped me put the face together. I'm glad um, it made the face come out really nicely. And I was um, getting a little sparse with the lines um, on his actual self because I wanted the i wanted to be different like focal points i wanted um the reflection to be the lightest part of the drawing and i wanted um the one that that's facing whose back is facing us i wanted that version of him to be a little blurry and a little less detailed because it's not the focus of the drawing now so i want the background to be much darker because again they're not the focus of the drawing so his reflection is supposed to be the focus of the drawing and i did add some textures for um the background too and yeah i think i'm almost done yeah <laughs> i added some highlights and yeah Wow, this is still not done. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's it. Enjoy the reveal. Bye.